When I take it, I get high. You, I start with one. It got to a time I had to take more, double up the dosage to get the same high I needed. Monica was a shining star in the nursing profession. For over 20 years, she was the one midwife everyone looked up to. After the loss of her mother, she felt all alone. I became addicted to Petiden, that was three years ago. But before then, I went through a lot of different things. I had my first surgery. And then the same year, I lost my mother. Stigma and fear are preventing many healthcare workers from seeking help for addiction before it's too late for both themselves and their patients. Now, desperate to hide their illness, healthcare workers are suffering in silence and the lives of those who they take care of are at risk. Drug addiction is with us. It's in every aspect of our lives, particularly among health workers. It is not their fault that they are addicted. They are addicted. Addiction is a disease. Some health professionals come and then you realize that it is alcohol. Some come and it is cigarettes. They are health professionals and once they find themselves in this space, we should be able to support them. Like many health professionals, Monica's situation was getting increasingly bad. It took me one year to decide that I was really addicted to Petiden. You know, and even that, I realized I couldn't take care of myself. I had lost so much weight. And then on my birthday, I nearly hung myself in my room. And the only thing that changed the suicidal thoughts was the fact that I thought of my son lying in the next room. That's the only thing that made me sick. Help. President of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, Perpetual Afori, was deeply saddened by Monica's story. So it's been there like forever. When I was in training in the 90s, we knew that there were doctors that were addicted to Petidin. There were nurses that were addicted to Petidin. And in quite recent times, we've lost a couple of nurses who, um, of course, were identified to be using them, but of course they go through some kind of rehab, they go back, they are taking it, and um, suicides and death that cannot be explained. Doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers are suspected of misusing and diverting higher risk medications from the in hospital supply, leaving many hospitals ill equipped to combat the problem. But how can one overcome such addictions? Harriet, a drug addict counselor, has been helping hundreds of addicts overcome their addiction. She explains why individuals get into the use of drugs in the first place. For her, it was just a grieving process. For others, just stress from daily living, just the stress. Others also, fun, just want to have fun and so then it begins from there. Monica has undergone rehabilitation for four months and has since been drug free and continues her nursing profession with a Catholic facility. I think addiction is everywhere, in all sectors, everywhere addiction is there. But you see, because of the stigmatization, people are not ready to come out and seek help. Not only that, by the time you become addict, you don't have money to even fend for yourself. Let alone say, okay, now I'm ready. I need this help. Where do you get the money to pay for the rehabilitation? That is the problem. It is our duty to open the conversation and provide support to those who are suffering in silence we must break the stigma associated with addiction and work to provide the help and compassion that all individuals deserve. Imano Samani, TV3 News, Pantai.